It's not every day that you can be in a boat watching hot molten lava pouring into the Pacific Ocean at over 2,000 degrees. You get out there and you start to feel the warmth and you smell the sulfur and you, you see that the water has changed below the boat. It, it gets kind of like smooth and, and yet boiling. And when the lava actually hits the ocean, you hear it sizzle and pop. And it's a spiritual experience. I can't put it in words. So the most extreme spot on Earth is right behind me, folks. Captain Shane Turpin takes tourists out daily to the blistering lava flow and still finds it irresistibly alluring. This right here will be the most memorable thing I see day in and day out due to the fact that it's, it's just overcoming. Um, when you see the lava day after day, it's like a relationship. It changes, but it just keeps getting better. The first 10 minutes when we get out to the lava, you know, I, I lose count in counting the oh my goshes and honey, do you see that? You know, you see people cry, you see people laugh, you see people just, their jaws are dropped over, can't say anything. It made me cry <laughs> to be that close to um, something that most people never see in their life. And lava is a dangerous thing and so you don't think you're going to be right, standing right next to it. It's one of the top five experiences of my life. And it's just to be there seeing land be made right before your eyes is like no other experience in the world. The reaction of the hot lava into cool water can create some other spectacular phenomena as well. While all this may look really dangerous, it's one of the safest ways to see lava. You're totally surrounded by a cold element water. You're on a boat that's got 400 horsepower so you can get out real quick. And you're not up on the coastline where there's cracks and things falling in all the time. So here it's kind of like being at the show. You get to sit and watch all of it, but you're not involved with it.